Not you. Good day, good day. My name is Remy Craig. I'm here to secure your vehicles as you visit Mermaid Pond. The cost would be twenty dollars a vehicle until you come back. The information I need from you if you are parking up on my watch would be where you're going, how many of you and any children involved children and adults so that should in case anything should happen I have it in writing if you happen to lose I will be on my way coming to look for you I have a bag with lights where you tell me you're going is where I would come to post to look for you but after looking for you and identifying you then I would straight now in the area to find you wherever it is. A signal and light. Or else I stay here until you go enjoy yourself and come back. I secure your vehicle. Okay, so today we head into the Mermaid Pool in Matura. Mermaid Pool is one of the best rivers I come across in Trinidad. There are many different beautiful rivers, but this one is one of my favorite. Matura is also known for turtle watching along the coastline, but we're not doing that today. Today we're just here to observe the river and enjoy the nice natural mystic and wonders of mother nature's beauty besides the river it have the, the trails if you didn't want to come and bathe in the river you could actually use the trails and actually enjoy the walk through the pine trees um, it's, it's to relax your mind Thomas trees um, it don't have a sign by the road, but it's right before the Matura Outreach Center. When you reach there, you're driving up until you meet the last house. You should meet a guy there. He usually always be there. He parks cars. Um, what he asks for is like twenty dollars, and he remain there and watch a car. If for the whole day, he stays there for the entire day, and he keeps your cars safe. After you pass the last house on your left hand side, about 10 minutes from that location, you would meet the Mermaid Pool entrance. 
on your right hand side. Make sure and pass the high tension wire. You will see some high tension wire passing across the road. You're passing that and come up. After that, you should take about 20 minutes downhill. Till you meet the river. From there, you can take about a 10 minutes walk upstream to meet the actual mermaid pool. Or you could use the, there's a shortcut right after you cross a big tree trunk in the trail. You will meet a track on your left hand side that leads directly to Mermaid Pool. That is for those who don't want to get their foot wet, you can pass there. Alright, at, at a strategic location there is a fire tower. That fire tower is located about 10 minutes after you pass the Mermaid Pool trailhead. It's not too far. What you would do is um, you walk straight up, you'll meet like a, a T. You're using the road on your left. When you continue that road on your left, you will meet a next um like a junction but you this time is a y you use the y on your you're taking the road sorry on your left again and walk up that hill as you walk up that hill you will see the fire tower on your left hand side 